You think he can help me? He's got the brain of a tapeworm, a maggot, beside mine. Oh, yeah? Well, what about my brain? It's all a big nothing. Hey, what? Sven. Yes? What a coincidence. So many of my friends tell me that your show is like The Invisible Man. Oh, really? Yeah, they say they never see it. <laughs> well, I see that we have Anita Exorcist with us again, and you've got your trumpet, so you guys are the perfect complement to my voice. Well, right, especially if we can drown it out. <gasps> oh, it's nice to know how much you love my singing, but about this story. Poor Flora loves the Invisible Man, but everything he does seems to throw invisible roadblocks in front of their relationship. Maybe I can explain it to you. When you love a guy you can't see, you can never tell where he'll be. Anywhere he goes, if it storms or snows, you can't really tell if it's he. All around you, he can run rings. And he does such horrible things. Cause the saying goes when he'll lose his nose, an invisible angel gets wings. Out of boy, Clarence! Mr. Griffin, even if in, we can't tell where you are. You must be a lawyer, cause we know you passed the bar. When you've got a guy you can't see, he may cause a ruckus or three. He can make a splash as his room he'll trash, and he'll be too tired to flee. camp it's enough to make him for clamped it's for sure no shocker he's off his rocker from sanity he's exempt while his true love flora despairs to evict him the innkeeper dares and he's booked tonight for the next flight and i mean down that flight of stairs meeting an invisible man just make some all turn tail. I'd run to if it means you won't have to hear her wail. When he hits the bottle, he'll stop and he'll pause to throttle a cop. Cause when he's around and the temperature's down, it'll cause his trousers to drop. Relax, lady. You can't see anything, I think. <laughs> 